When you have oily skin and it's hot outside, this is just what you need to do. What's good? Morning. <laughs> you see what I did there? It's, uh, it's really hot these days and uh, I don't do my regular makeup routine because of how hot it is outside. No one wants to wear foundation when it's gonna melt off your face anyway. So I do have a new like everyday makeup routine for when it's really hot outside and um, today I'm gonna share it with you guys. Thank you Sephora Collection for sponsoring this video. Um, I'm gonna do my full like makeup routine and I have some really great affordable dupes for you guys. So if you're interested, let's get to watching. I mean, let's get to doing makeup. You get to watching. All right. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my skin with a primer that has SPF in it. So this is the Super Goop Mineral Matte Screen. This has SPF 40. I freaking love this stuff. I've been using it for the past almost three years. It should be three years by now. Um, this is my favorite primer. If you have oily skin, it is just so good. It keeps the oil at bay. It keeps you matte all day. You just do not get oily. So I'm very generous with this. This just really absorbs everything. And the sunscreen is 100% mineral. So there's no chemical filters in this. Now, like I said, I don't wear foundation <laughs> when it's hot outside. Now, what we will do, however, is apply concealer. And I don't use a brightening under eye concealer. I use a concealer that is the same color as my face just because I'm not wearing any foundation. So if you put a brightening concealer and you're not wearing foundation, it can kind of just look weird. Like you just have like a, <laughs> a bright stripe under your eyes. So I like to use one that is the same color as my skin. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. If you've been following my channel since like 2017, I've been using this same concealer. It's my favorite. I freaking love this stuff. It does not um, crease under the eyes. I just freaking love it. Oh, and I'm in the color 4N. So I'm gonna take my Beauty Blenda and I'm just going to blend it out. You can realistically also just use your finger, but I like using a Beauty Blender because it just looks a little bit more natural. So as you can see, that just makes me look a little bit more awake because I don't have these uh, this darkness under my eyes. <laughs> Oh, and then the leftover that I have on my beauty blender, I will like go on top of my eyelid, my eyelid just to um, even out the color. Excellent. The next thing I'm going to do is apply some eye primer. Now this is optional. If you don't have oily lids, you don't have to do this, but I have very oily lids. <laughs> so I have to do this. Everything, my eye, my lids get so oily. My entire face gets really oily. So it makes the summertime, you know, really fun for me. So I like to get in the inner corners as well as the outer corners because if I don't like, then oil is just going to get into those areas and it's gonna start like getting into my eyeballs and it's gonna make my eyes like burn. <laughs> I love having oily skin, it's so much fun. And then I'm going to set that and just the rest of my face with some powder. So this is the Sephora Collection Translucent Setting Powder. This is a great dupe for the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. They're very, very similar. They're very similar in color. I mean, they're translucent, but they're also very similar in the, like how fine the powder is. And there's quite a price difference as well. So the Sephora Collection Translucent Setting Powder, this is $15. And then the Laura Mercier one is $39. So there's quite a price difference there. This is a really great dupe for that. So this is the Sephora Collection Powder Brush. Um, as you can see, she has been very much used. I need to clean this brush. I'm sorry, you guys, but <laughs> I like to go in and set everything I just put on my face. You might be like, oh my God, you're like making your skin so matte right now, but 
but trust me, when you have oily skin and it's hot outside, this is just what you need to do. Your face is going to feel super matte, but like after 30 minutes or an hour of being outside, you're gonna thank me for showing you how to do this. <laughs> I've become like a master of trying to control oil because it's just been such a problem throughout my entire life. <laughs> Okay, now this is pretty important. I want to make sure to set the primer that I just put on my eyes. And you may be thinking, well, you already put a primer. Like, why do you need to set it with powder? Because it works. It just works better. I don't know the science behind it, but once I started doing this, it just started working better. So <laughs> I'm going to take that same translucent powder from Sephora Collection along with a smaller brush. You could use a big brush if you want, but I like the precision of having a smaller brush. And I'm just going to dust this all over my eyelid. And again, I make sure to get an inner corner, the outer corner, all of that. All right, and whenever you make your skin super matte, sometimes you can lose vitality. So it's really important for me to add color back to my face, back to my skin. So I'm going to add blush. Um, this is the NARS Exhibit A. If you have brown skin tone, you could really benefit from having like a really intense like orange type of color. It looks a little insane in the pan, but once you apply it to brown skin, it just gives you like that really nice glow, that really nice flush of color. And I'm gonna be honest, I like to go pretty um, intense with the blush here because when I put my mask on, this is the first thing that comes off. So I really like to put on a lot of blush. Excellent! So, you know, obviously it's gonna be really intense, but um, throughout the day, um, this blush color will come off. It, it'll start coming off on its own. So I like to go really heavy at the beginning. All right, the next thing we're going to do is eyebrows, my favorite part of any makeup routine. So for the past, I wanna say like two years, two and a half years, I've been using this Sephora Collection retractable brow pencil. So on one side it has a little spoolie and then on the other side it obviously has like a retractable um, pencil that you use for your brows. I'm in the color Granite. So I like to start by shaping my brows. And when you're doing like a no makeup makeup look, I think brows are the most important part because it really frames the face and it brings attention to your eyes instead of, you know, your sweaty face. This is really similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Um, this is like a classic product that everyone has used, but this is very, very similar to this one. They're both still really great products. Um, there is just a price difference. So um, the Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil, this one is $12, and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz is $24. So this one is about half the price for a very, very similar product. Next, we're going to use a Sephora Collection Clear Brow Gel and just keep those brows in place. And also keep the color in place because, you know, if you're sweating and stuff, you want that color to stick. You don't want it to go anywhere and then be left with no eyebrows by the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So this not only tames the hairs, but it keeps the color in check as well. There's nothing that improves your look quite like a good set of eyebrows does. <laughs> now, before I move on to my eyes, I'm going to prep my lips. Uh, the thing with Los Angeles weather is that it's very dry here. It's very, very dry. We have hot, dry summers, not hot, humid summers. So my lips can get very, very dry. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Sephora Collection Colorful Gloss Balm Super Fruits. This is in the flavor Wild Watermelon. These smell so good and they really, ugh, they're so, they're so moisturizing. These are actually really similar to the Tower 28 Beauty um, lip glosses that I've talked about a million times on my channel before. That's like one of my favorite products and this is a really, really great dupe for that. Um, this one right here, the Tower 28 Beauty Lip Jellies. 
they're super, super similar. Obviously they have like different packaging. Like this one has like a doe foot applicator. This one has a squeezy tube. This is also a lot skinnier, so it's easier to throw in your bag, but they're very, very, very similar. I like using this as a lip treatment at night. So when I wake up the next morning, my lips are still very, very hydrated, um, but I also just like to use it as a lip gloss throughout the day. So love this stuff. Okay, now we're going to move on to the eyes. Now, you guys know that I love doing like my little baby wing eyeliner, but I want something a little bit more natural looking when it's hot outside and you know, I just don't wanna to do too much. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to do my little baby winged eyeliner, but we're going to do like a feathered one with an eyeshadow. So this is my makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. You can use, it doesn't have to be this palette. All you need is a black eyeshadow. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the black eyeshadow in this palette with an angled brush like this. Let me show you the motion. So I'm going to basically do what I do with my liquid eyeliner, but I'm just going to do light strokes to kind of get a feathered look. Just like that. So it just really enhances my eye shape, my almond eye shape, um, without doing too much. So now we're just gonna curl the lashes and do some mascara. And the mascara that I'm gonna use today is the Sephora Collection Size Up Mascara. This is a volumizing mascara. This is very, very similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. They both have a very similar, let me see if I can show you guys. Very similar formula, very similar brush shape. They're both volumizing uh, mascaras. One of the biggest difference is there's a price difference. So the Sephora Collection Size Up Mascara, this one is $12. And then the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, this one is $26. So again, it is like basically half the price. They're very, very similar. Like so. Now that my um, lip gloss has been sitting on my lips to kind of, you know, nourish my lips, I'm going to blot. Now, when I blot, I don't wanna take off the gloss. I just wanna take off the shininess of the gloss because I still want my lips to be like very moisturized. So I'm just gonna, like that, that's it. And the lip product that I'm gonna use is Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. This stuff is super, super creamy. So. Um, I feel like a lot of cream lip stains can like crack and dry on your lips. Um, what I like about this one is that it has avocado oil. So it's very, very, it applies so smooth. I'm going to show you guys. It does not crack and it literally stains your lips. It stays on your lips for so long. I don't know if you can tell, but there's already like some color on my lips. And that's because I applied this color yesterday and it is basically still here. <laughs> I applied this yesterday. So it's very, very long lasting. So as you can see, she applies very, very smooth. And boom, there we go. So I'm gonna update you guys in about two hours so you can see what the makeup looks like, but I just want you to see how this makeup's going to look like when you actually wear it outside in the hot weather. So um, I'll see you in two hours. All right, I'm gonna pick up my prescription and I will be right back. So as you can see, my uh, face is still intact. It is not the oily mess that it would be had I not put on that primer. So as you can see, my skin is not oily. It's not shiny. I don't look greasy. 
stop texting me, I'm trying to film the video. Um, <laughs> I've had this makeup on for three and a half hours and we're still going strong. So I'm gonna maybe update you guys in another two or three hours. All right, it is the nighttime. I'm about to uh, wash my face, but it's been about seven hours and um, I think my makeup still looks pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> um, as you can see, there is a little bit of shine in my T-zone. I did not, I have not blot the entire day. I just let my skin do its thing. One note though is that I'm about to start my period, so my skin is a lot more oily than it is than it usually is, but I think it still looks pretty good. I mean, I don't look like greasy. And then as you can see, the blush has um, settled down a lot. Taking your mask on and off, you know, going throughout your day, the blush is gonna be the first thing to come off. So right now it looks very, very natural. Eyeliner still here, eyebrow still here, everything looks pretty good. And today it was like, I think like 98 degrees. It was really hot today. So um, I think it looks pretty good. Anyway, that was my makeup routine for hot weather. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you, Sephora Collection, for sponsoring this video. If you have any tips for uh, makeup during hot weather, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!